What's up you guys? Happy Thursday. I hope you're having an awesome day so far. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Cindy Enriquez and on here I post nutrition, fitness, and lifestyle type videos. For this week's video, I am doing a what I eat in a day and I think the way that I'm going to structure these types of videos is by showing you my three core meals, so my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Snacks I'll do in a separate video as I don't want to make these videos too long. So I'm going to go ahead and play with that idea for now and then we'll figure it out later. With that being said let's go ahead and jump into the video my very first meal is breakfast and I'll be having bacon and egg breakfast tacos I will be having two siete tortillas. They are the cassava flour. And if any of you guys are doing some sort of like elimination phase or anything like that to figure out food sensitivities, these are gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and vegan. I also will be topping off the tacos with the traditional hot sauce. And if any of you have used this brand before, let me know in the comments below how it is that you like them. I absolutely love them. My biggest weakness is chips, and they make some bomb chips. For the bacon, I will be making the uncured turkey bacon from Trader Joe's. I also really like the Simply Balanced brand from Target. So if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, you can definitely go to Target and get the one from Target's brand. Half of an avocado and two pasture-raised eggs. I personally like to get pasture-raised eggs because the quality life of the chicken is a lot better for you. So today I will be using extra virgin olive oil and I'll probably just be putting half a teaspoon if that. As far as the tortillas go, if you are running low on time, you can pop them into the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds. But what I like to do is I'll put them on a pan with a little bit of oil, get them nice and crispy. And there you have some breakfast tacos. Like I said, I will be topping these off with the traditional hot sauce. I did pick up two pounds of the ground turkey from Trader Joe's. Also got some organic kidney beans. Really loved the ingredients on this. It's just organic kidney beans, water and salt like you do not need any other ingredients all up in your kidney beans for the hunts tomatoes i did pick up the hunts crushed in basil i will probably be using around half to maybe like three-fourths of this can hunts paste along with the hunts sauce i think the only seasonings that i will use for the ground turkey will just be black pepper and himalayan pink salt because the sauces and the kidney beans are going to flavor it all pretty well. For the crackers, I will be using these grain-free tortilla chips. And let's go ahead and talk about the ingredients, shall we? So it's just cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, ground chia seeds, and sea salt. Alrighty guys, this is what we are looking like. I did go ahead and top the chili off with a fourth of an avocado, but you can go ahead and feel free to top it off with whatever it is that you like. It's about time for me to whip up some dinner. I'm getting pretty hungry and I'll be making my favorite salad. It's an apple cranberry pecan salad. Now I know that sounds like a mouthful and really difficult to make, but it's super simple. All you need is an organic spring mix or just any greens that you enjoy, whether it be spinach, kale, whatever it is that you like, go ahead and use that. Dried cranberries, raw pecan halves. Now a special note on 
any nuts and seeds that you purchase at the store. Be mindful of the ingredients that are in them. I like to get them in their most raw, whole, natural state as possible. So if I turn the ingredient label around on this one, all it is is pecans. Other ingredient labels will have inflammatory oils like soybean oil, vegetable oil, canola oil. You just don't need that in your system. So get them in the most natural state possible. An apple, half of an avocado, and then some tuna. So for tuna, I like to get chunk light tuna. This is the skipjack in spring water that I got from Fresh Time. And along with the salad, I will be making a homemade a maple balsamic vinaigrette. It just adds that extra goodness to the salad. So I'll go ahead and put somewhere here on the side what amounts I used in order to make the vinaigrette. So this is what the vinaigrette looks like. I just go ahead and give it a good stir every single time I use it. And obviously depending on how much you use, it really just depends on how long it's gonna last you. But I like to just do a little drizzle on top of the salad and we are good to go. I have yet to drizzle on the balsamic vinaigrette, but it looks so good. So I just kind of sprinkled in some pecans, some dried cranberries. I have half of a apple here, the entire can of tuna and half of an avocado. Alrighty fam, that about does it for this very first what I eat in a day type video. Again, snacks will be in a separate video and I hope that you guys got some value off of it. I know sometimes we can get in a funk making the same exact type of meals over and over and we need a little bit of meal inspiration so I hope that today's video helped out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.